Hi guys, first of all, before I start this video, I just wanted to say how much I appreciate you all for letting me guide you through these processes we're about to start next week. I feel personally there's never been a better time for us to start raging, raising our individual vibrational frequency and to raise the vibrational frequency of the collective. What I'm seeing personally is that the more we raise our frequency to things like truth, integrity, unconditional love, peace, harmony, the more that the shit or the shadow of the collective is coming to the surface, that lies and deceit and fear-based bullshit is now being brought to the surface for us to collectively transmute. Um, by holding or embodying or channeling these higher frequencies um, and releasing these with 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 love um, and, and letting them letting them know that it, it served us through the iron age it helped it helped us pass through that but we're stepping into a golden age and we release it with with love and gratitude thank you for serving us um, we release you um, and the more we do this work internally and the more we we work through our own stuff and, and clear our own bodies there's a saying in the Bible, clean the inside of the cup and the outside of the cup becomes clean. There's also another one that says, as within, so without. So the more we cleanse ourselves and the more we raise our vibrational frequency, the more enlightened we become, the brighter we shine with light and the lighter we become to go up frequencies, to ascend in frequency. Now, when you fast this week, you're going to ascend quite quickly into higher frequencies. Um, and the idea is that we we ascend by going to soups and smoothies and juices on the first day with raw veg. So we're eating less dense foods um, and then we go 72 hours without. So this is when we start to use all the old and we start to really clear out the body. And then on the fourth day, you're going to have liquids. So it's going to be less dense foods that the body can break down and it will bring you from this frequency to this one. And then on the fifth day, we have the denser foods and it brings you into this and you start to bring those frequencies in and embody them and, and ground them. And then for the meal on the final day, you can have whatever you want with lots of gratitude and you start to, to ground all these higher frequencies back in to this, into this realm. So this is this is what I've experienced. This is what the people, the 2000 people or slightly over that I've guided in the last five years have experienced through this process. And then the following five to seven days afterwards, you'll probably start to experience more synchronicities um, and you'll start to to be to notice things that maybe you haven't noticed before. Um, something I'd like you guys to do over this weekend, we're starting the fast on Tuesday, you will be doing a salt water flush on the Monday. Something I'd like you to start from this evening before you go to bed is I'd like you to brush your teeth with your non-dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, brush it with your left hand. If you're left-handed, brush it with your right hand. What this does is it takes you out of a sleep state because when you brush your teeth with your right hand, it's something you do every day. It's something you're doing unconsciously. By changing something as simple as itself, it brings you into the present moment. So when you're in the present moment, this is where we become more conscious. So, and this is where we become more sub subjectable to planting new seeds. It also increases the corpus callosum that divides the two brain hemispheres, um, which makes both brain hemispheres fire on all cylinders. Interesting thing that I've discovered is that Albert Einstein couldn't talk until he was between four and seven. Uh, and yet his IQ is known as one of the, the biggest geniuses we've ever had. His corpus callosum, when there was an autopsy, was very, very wide. So his brain hemispheres were firing on both sides, not um, one brain hemisphere more dominant than the other. And this generally has been things with like Isaac Newton and very, very clever people are both, both brain hemispheres firing on all cylinders. Um, I believe we are all ambidextrous. I believe that we're told we're left-handed or right-handed to split this so that it can be, well, you, you can you can decide for yourself. I won't go too far into that. It's another conversation. Um, there may have been many times when you've driven to work and you thought, how the fuck did I get to work today? Because you've driven the same route for so many days. Change up the route you drive to work sometimes because that will bring you back into a present moment. It will make you more conscious. The only place we can receive our abundance and presence is in the present moment. So yeah, that's a little thing I'd like you to start doing before we start the fast. 
there's going to be a salt water flush on Monday morning. So I'd like you to prepare a pint of alkaline water on Monday morning, and I'd like you to squeeze one whole lemon into it. Um, I, before you squeeze the lemon into it, I'd like you to boil the water with a tablespoon of pink Himalayan salt. It's gonna taste absolutely disgusting. Once you've boiled it, then add the lemon, and I'd like you to wait until this is cool enough for you to drink, and I'd like you to drink it relatively quickly. I'd like you to be near a toilet for the next one hour period after this, because as mentioned in the previous videos, what this does is it really clears the body out um, and it will go through you very, very quickly. And it just sets us up really nicely for the fast the following day. Um, some of the questions I've had, um, sorry, not sure what happened there. The camera just decided to stop. Some of the questions I've had, number one, weight loss or keeping a stable weight. Now, what I'd like those of you that would like to lose weight, I've asked you guys to prepare nine affirmations on top of the three that I've already suggested. You can change the three that I've already suggested if you would like. The three that I suggested are I'm abundantly healthy, I'm abundantly prosperous, and I'm abundantly happy. If you'd like to lose weight, I would like you to repeat as one of your affirmations, I am this weight. I am uh, four of my affirmations in the gym when I'm lifting weights are, I am strong, I am flexible, I am muscular, I am vascular. Now affirmations are like code. They're like zeros and ones that we put into a computer. They're like commands. And they're very, very powerful before we go to bed or first thing in the morning. They're also Neville Goddard, who's someone I've studied for a long time, calls affirmations prayers. Because if we say prayers morning and evening, which is when our subconscious mind is most open, because generally we're in what's called a theta brainwave. Now, um, I won't go into too much detail, but from the age of one to seven, we're in a theta brainwave. This means our brain is like a sponge. The church says, give me a boy from the age of one to seven and I shall give you a man. This is generally where the most amount of boxes we get put in or the most amount of coding or paradigms or programs our life is determined by. Um, personally, if I have any more children, they will be homeschooled. I would not be putting them into any type of schooling system because the type of schooling system we are taught currently, in my belief, is just putting us into boxes that ultimately I've spent the last five years removing myself from, um, food being one of them. So, and if you'd like to lose weight, um, say my body is this weight, um, I am embodying this weight. If you would like to keep a stable weight, um, I'll try and find the links, but last year or two years ago, I did a 20 day fast where I said I would not lose any weight and I only drank water and lemon juice and I lost three pounds. I later on went to do a five day fast with just water and I said that I'd lose uh, a stone and I lost 10 pounds. Now I did a 20 day one with just water and lost only three pounds. And I did a five day one and I said I'd lose a stone and I lost 10 pounds. What did I change up with these two things? I changed up the programming that I was talking before I went to bed. I listened to an hour long affirmation thing that went through every organ and cell in my body saying, hello heart, um, I love you, uh, raising vibrational frequency, rejuvenate, replenish, restore, raise to your highest vibrational frequency that you can. And it went through every cell and every organ in the body and I spoke to it and I felt that love for it before I went to bed. Now, every single cell in your body listens to your thoughts and feelings and responds to it as well. This is, this is scientifically based and I'll get into science in a whole new video because science is just mass belief systems, that's all it is. If I pay a scientist to prove this, they will prove it. If I pay this scientist to prove the opposite of that, they will prove it because we live in a world of duality and science is just a belief system. That's all it is. So um, if you want to keep a stable weight then say things like that in affirmations before you go to bed, um, there'll also be more breath work or energy exchanges for people that want to keep a stable weight um, and other things that I can suggest for people that want to lose weight. And I've already spoken to you guys already. Um, I, my phone is on 24 hours a day over this five day period. Um, I do not want to hear anyone say that this fast didn't work or that they did not gain anything from it or experience something good from it. If you quit 
and you didn't phone me because if you phone me, I've had people in the past phone me at two o'clock in the morning and I've spoken them through processes and it's much more empowering for you if you can get through this fast without breaking it mentally. It, it's so much more empowering for you. Um, and I've only had less than less than one handful of people phone me up and say they've drunk some water or had something to eat in the time that I've been doing this. So you can get through this if um, if you stick to the program and you stick to the protocols. Um, on the first day, I would like you guys to have prepared two two litre bottles of water. I've already suggested um, Aquavia water. It's 9.4 pH. Um, it has no fluoride in it. This is very, very important. You can find this in Sainsbury's for a pound. There's also a bottled water company called Sarka. It's 8.4 pH and it's non-fluoride and the plastic bottles are non-BPA and BPF free. So it's a good one. I'd like you to grate some pink Himalayan salt into these bottles and squeeze a lemon into them. Now, I'd like you to have this ready for the first day. And I'd like for these bottles to be kept by the side of your bed every night so they're in your energy field. So this water's responding to your auric field, to your torus, where you're sleeping. Now, when I, I've asked you to create these 12 affirmations, these 12 affirmations are gonna be written by you every night before you go to bed with both hands. So with your left hand and with your right hand. It might take a little bit of time, just give yourself 10 minutes to do it before you go to bed because the benefits are pretty phenomenal, um, especially just before you go to bed. Now, when you finish writing them, Every single night, I'd like you to hold the bottle of water and I would like you to speak your affirmations into the water. I am abundantly healthy. I am abundantly prosperous. I'm abundantly happy. And your nine affirmations after that. I'd like you to do this for the first three days, just simply like this. Um, it's very, very easy to do. Um, I've mentioned before, and I'm going to plant this seed again, but if you could read or watch some YouTube videos on Masuru Emoto, the hidden effects of sound on water. Um, when we speak positive affirmations to water, the, it charges the water in a very positive, healthy way. You're gonna be uh, depleting your body of some of the stored water in your body. Your body's 72% water, roughly. And it's gonna be like removing old hard drive. And at the end of the week, when we break the fast, you're gonna be putting all this positive water and your body's just gonna soak it up. This is the way I've been shown. This is the way I've been coaching people for the last five years. And this is what I'm currently writing a book on. Um, on the final two days, not only would I like you to speak the affirmations, but I'd like you to pick three of them. And the three that you pick, and I'm gonna choose happiness for this particular moment. When you speak the affirmations, I want you to hold the water and I want you to remind yourself of a moment in your past that made you so happy. Because what's going to happen is you're going to emit that happiness into the water. Uh, emit means to produce. It's also time backwards for those of you that are into wordplay. Um, it's also going to draw that frequency in. So what's going to happen is this water is going to not only have the, the vibration of you speaking happiness into it, but it's also going to have the feeling of happiness charged into it. And because we have the salt in there, which is minerals, it's going to be much easier to charge this water. So it's so powerful, this water, when you break your fast, not only are you gonna love it because you haven't drunk any water for three days and you'll be so grateful, it's gonna be the most powerful meal you've probably had for about 10, 15 years, easily. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, a lot of you have already been messaging me with questions. Um, I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Usually a 60 to 90 minute window period I can get back to you guys. I'm pretty much going to be busy f over Saturday and Sunday. I will be posting a video maybe Sunday evening or Monday morning. If there's any other questions about prep or um, anything else. In fact, there's one more question and that was about whether you can work whilst doing this. Now, I can't. I'm only here to guide you. I'm not here to dictate or govern you in any way. Go with what feels right for you. All I'm going to say is my first fast was seven days, no food, no water, no contact with water. And I've done that working for a removals company for five days that week. 
and going to the gym, doing a thousand calories on the cross trainer and lifting weights. I'm going to be honest, at that period in my life, I was willing to try things that other people wouldn't because in my head, I said to myself, if I die, I didn't really care at the point. But what this did for me by pushing myself through this was show me that I was capable of so much more than what I actually believed I was capable of. My human design is also a one to three manifesto, which means investigator martyr. So I generally do try things that people are scared of doing and then come back and say, oh, hang on a minute, I've tried this and we've been told we can't do this and it's a load of fucking bullshit. We can do it. Follow me and I've created this timeline and I can show you how to do this. Um, so it's very interesting what we can physically do when we mentally believe we can. Never underestimate yourself. Um, start to think outside of the boxes. We gave our power to away to our teachers and to our parents who probably had the best intentions when they was teaching us. But we've outgrown these now and it's time to, to expand and to remember not only who we are, but what we are. Um, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, I love speaking to you all. Please keep commenting and messaging me if, you, if you'd like to. Lots of love. Namaste. Have a great weekend.